so January 27, 2004, um, we're just on a routine night patrol, and uh, um, we're about 55 miles south of Baghdad. Um, a roadside bomb went off, killed three of my men, injured three of us. Um, I had a, about a brick-sized hole in my right knee. That event changed retired Army Sergeant First Class Daniel Metzdorf's life. Doctors amputated his leg, but Daniel refused to let this loss define him. So that was the day I was injured and the day that I had to, I had to say, hey, this is what I got right now. This is my life from here on out. I, I have to cherish this day and I have to cherish how much strength it took everyone to put me back together. After much determination and hard work, he adjusted to a prosthetic leg. And I was the first above the MPT to stay on active duty with an airborne unit ever. Wearing a device like this one, Daniel graduated from the elite parachute team, the Golden Knights. And, and this is vacuumed and suction to my limb. Today, so my knee is a microprocessor knee. Experts from Mayo Clinic work with the Limb Lab to fit Daniel with a state-of-the-art prosthetic leg. And I want to see what that feels like when he takes a step. Check it out, huh? It's nice right there. Mayo Clinic Dr. Kenton Kaufman heads the team that designs and tests prosthetics for people with amputations. So our goal is to uh, have them learn how to use their prosthesis in a more effective manner and hopefully increase their function and their quality of life. The Department of Defense awarded Dr. Kaufman and his team a grant to study ways to prevent falls in people with amputations. He says soldiers like Daniel inspire him to help make prosthetic limbs better and better for all amputees, including those who serve our country. The soldiers salute the flag, they serve under the flag, their coffin is covered in a flag. The least we can do is to salute them for what they do for us. Yeah, I think I like that better. Now that Daniel is retired, he looks forward to marriage, and he continues to inspire other soldiers who've lost limbs, helping them to survive and thrive. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.